And we're joined by some very, very talented international artists this morning came on pass for proof in preparation for their special uh, music expo performance, which is an international music festival that takes place here in uh, West Hollywood, California, once a year. And I'm joined by uh, three very special co-hosts, Seymour Stein, the chairman of Sonair Records, Chris Price from MTV UK and Ireland, and Alice Mischneider, VP of Music Services from NBC Universal TV. And uh, we're very, very happy to be joined this morning by a band out of London, England that's uh, quite popular here on Pass Waterproof and Indy 1031 called Rotating Leslie. Welcome to Los Angeles. Good morning. Uh, so this is your first ever performance in North America. It is, yeah. Your first ever visit here. No, no, we've been as tourists, but not as a band, yeah. So we're very excited. So our good friend Andrew Phillips, who's going to be joining us uh, in about 30 minutes for this broadcast, turn this on to you. And uh, Andrew has great taste. He obviously uh, ran XFA, uh, great taste maker station in the UK. He's now over at Channel 4. And when he played us your music, we were very, very impressed. Good stuff. Yeah, he knows, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> on occasion. And uh, tell us a bit about uh, you know your forthcoming album. You've been working at a very famous or infamous studio. Yeah, we've been recording down at Rack in uh, North London where Arctic Monkeys recorded and Radiohead. And, so yeah, that's quite an experience. The enemy are in the room next door doing their album. And uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. We're just kind of gigging and doing as much as we can to get things going in the right direction. So how would you des describe your sound? We, we play Mind on My Money, uh, Fire, Fire, on Pass, Port Approval. How do you describe your overall sound? Like, you know, Chris was asking earlier, uh, who are some of your musical influences? Uh, well, we come from a small town in north of London called Royston, where Pink Floyd are from. My dad used to break into their back garden and listen to them practice. We were kind of force-fed that as kids. We don't really sound like Pink Floyd, but... Uh, yeah, we're taking influences from far and wide, all kinds of American music, Pixies, Pearl Jam, and obviously all the new indie bands in England as well as going on there, I would max it like that. Yeah, this is what we put it all together as, really. So, uh, Alison, I know you like young lads. Are these guys young enough for you? <laughs> How old are you? <coughs> How old are we? We're uh, old enough to know better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong answer. <laughs> I told Saturday I keep lowering my age range, so it's a shame. Last I'm in trouble getting served in the bars right now. Well, I know you're going to be 18 years, and so it's a good thing. Was it 21? Oh, no, no, a little higher. Yeah. Okay. 25, and there you go. I don't know yet. <laughs> So, uh, Rotating Leslie, you guys are playing here at the House of Blues tomorrow night at, uh, let's see, at 10pm. Uh, and we're obviously very, very excited to see your performance since it's your first show in North America. What can we expect? Uh, well, our live shows are always quite feisty, we like to think. We've got all we've got into it and uh, we like to try and entertain as well. So, yeah, we want to thank you very much for having us down, by the way. It's, it's our pleasure. So, we'll give you a little taste of what we can expect tomorrow night. Uh, from the Rotating Leslie guys, and uh, tell us about the song that you're going to perform. Uh, it's relatively new, it's called Sending the Lions. Um, we've kind of always been a DIY act, we've done everything ourselves. And now it's getting to the stage where we feel like we have been thrown into the lion's den, so this is kind of a reflection of that. Okay, without further delay, we hand it over to Rotating Leslie, live on Passport Approved on Indy 1031. <laughs>
treat.